Hi, this is Roger Phillips with the Idaho Statesman. Deer hunting season is almost here. And we're looking forward to a pretty good season here in Idaho. There's lots of animals out there. The herds are in pretty good shape. We've had a little help from the weather. I think we're going to have a great season. I've got a few tips here for you on deer hunting. It's uh, something I've done for a long time. I don't claim to be an expert, but a lot of people have taught me some really good things along the way. And I'd like to share those with you today. I used to do a lot of walking, cover as much country as I could. And then I learned using my eyes first and then my feet is a much better way to hunt. You're more likely to find an animal when it's completely undisturbed, it doesn't know you're there. I dress really warm, I dress in camouflage. During hunting season, I'll have on a red hat. But for now, I just like to look at the country real quietly and just check everything out. I put my back up against a tree here or a sagebrush. It breaks up my outline even better. I don't move, I'm warm, I'm comfortable. I can really look at the country without fidgeting. Hopefully I'll spot an animal before it spots me. A good pair of binoculars is really key to that. These are 10 powers and they're a quality brand. These are Leopold's but there's a lot of brands out there that make really fine optics. I can look at these things for literally hours. I can scour the countryside and I can spot things from up to, oh, I'd say sometimes a half mile away. When you can get, when you can see those animals from that far away, get an idea of what they're doing, it really helps you form a game plan for a stock. Quality optics, you really can't beat them. You want to use the terrain to your advantage. I like to get up above them. It's always a little easier to sneak down on them, in my opinion. Sneaking up can be a real challenge. I can see a lot of country right here. I'm also pretty well obscured by these bushes. Anything comes through here, I've got a really good chance of seeing it, hopefully before it sees me, and I can formulate a game plan and put that stock on it. Terrain is critical. These animals are really sharp about using the terrain to their advantage, and you've got to try to one-up them on them. One thing I always try to really be aware of is wind direction. Camouflage will hide you. A lot of things make noise in the woods, so that doesn't always spook a deer, but there's only one thing that smells like a human, and that's a human. This is some wind direction indicator. Just sprinkle a little out, it tells you where the wind's going, even a real slight breeze. It's a really handy thing to have with you. You can always tell where the wind's blowing, keep it blowing in your face, and look over the territory. Try not to ever completely show yourself, even when you're in open country. Stay low, use some kind of terrain or brush to your advantage. Try to stay in the shadows whenever you can. Avoid the skylight. Think you're a deer below me right now. You know, you can probably see me, but you can see me a lot better when I'm like this. When you stay low, the animals can't see you nearly as well and you have a much better chance of spotting them. There they are, a herd of mule deer. That's what we've been looking for and that's what we're going to be looking for here in the next couple of weeks. They're calm, content, they don't even know we're here. You want to learn more about deer and elk hunting in Idaho and what the season looks like this year, read about it in Idaho Outdoors. Good hunting to you.